want to get stuff started by introducing to you this evening my first guest, Desiree Cesarine. Please welcome her. Hey, Desiree, I'll even stand up. Hi. Thank you very much, Desiree. You're welcome. So you teach? Yeah, let's just strap in. Excuse me, yeah, just, you know. Things could get a little rough. I listen to your monologues, so, yeah. Desiree, how do those lights look to you? Pretty good? Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> um, now you, so you teach flight attendant school. Did you even know there was such a thing as flight attendant school? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> so you toss some nuts. <laughs> uh, exactly how long does that take? All right, okay, make the toss higher. That's good, good. <laughs> it takes practice. It doesn't take practice. No, I know that there's more to it than that. No, actually, it's highly competitive. Um, uh, you have to have a college degree. College or degree. Or something comparable. And, um... Or something comparable. <laughs> Which means, like a note? Like a... <laughs> No, you can come into a training program like mine. And, oh, I see. Uh, yes. And um, the first thing we do is evaluate your appearance. <laughs> Very and, high um, hair, does yes. right. And uh, high hair is good. And, then, and then we weigh you. Uh-huh. <laughs> that will also be high. <laughs> high. Uh, basically, we start from the outside and work our way in. And uh -huh. then teach you about leadership and responsibilities how to handle yourself in abnormal and unusual situations. It's not unlike being a brownie so far. <laughs> that would be good for your resume. Leadership, yeah, leadership. abnormal situations. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. So now, um, to, to be completely honest with you, and I know you don't even sense this from where you are, I've never really had the best rapport <laughs> with flight attendants. Really? Yeah. yeah. But now, <laughs> I feel, to be honest with you, Desiree, I feel that sometimes they suck up to businessmen in first class. That's my feeling. <laughs> sometimes. 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 Not always. Um, now, what kind of, uh, the, uh, the catalog is here. Is this, this is the curriculum, I take it? That's it. The 1991-92 curriculum. That's the one. Now, um, like, all right, wait. Teach it to me like I was there. I did. I did. <laughs> Well, one of the things we train you in is passenger psychology. So we can start there. And uh, with passenger psychology, we use a system A through P alphabetically. Mm -hmm. So A would be angry passenger, P would be paranoid, and you would probably fall into the E category, which is... Um, Energetic. No. What is E? Exhibitionist. <gasps> So maybe, maybe you'd fall into that category. Yeah. Okay, I might be an E. Okay, you might be an E. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what would you do with an E? So what we try to do is find a D. And a D is somebody who is a, a dependent personality. Who and then seat them right needed. beside me? That's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> and I then wondered how they chose the seating. I, know, I wonder how come babies are always right. Sometimes they have me between the parent and the baby. <laughs> Sometimes they lean over and they go, excuse me, extrovert, could you hand this to yeah. my wife? It's a baby. All right, so now what about, the, what about other letters? What is, uh, do you know them all? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay, what are, what are G people? What are they? Uh, G people are groups. So how to handle a situation with a group. This leads me to a point, this group thing actually reminds me of something. Desiree, perhaps, mm -hmm. I, I'm so glad we have these seats. Okay. Let me ask you something. Yeah. What is the difference, Desiree, between this and... <laughs> Sit back on a plane because what, what, you're like this and you're like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> What's the difference for when you're going when you're going down or, or it's something? Uh, the difference just basically is uh, for safety so that the person behind you can get out. Oh yeah, Quick. that's all. <laughs> well, you know what? You know why it reminded me of that with G with the group thing is because you guys you know what I happen to know about planes? If everyone puts them back, they can't tell. <laughs> It takes a little solidarity at the gate, but it can be done. <laughs> it generally takes an e-passenger to do it. Okay. Um, hey, you guys, do you have do you have 
Questions of Desiree, by the way, do you have flight attendant questions? I want to see how the cushions come out of the seat in case you fall in the ocean. <laughs> I've never seen them take a cushion Sir, out and show you how it comes out. if you fall in the ocean, don't even bother. That's what they tell you, though. <laughs> Desiree, would you? Oh, sure. Thank you very much. So you just... They actually look on. Yes, they do. Thank you very much. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> now I need to. Uh... All right, you guys. Uh, there's this paintball game that's very popular now. Are you are you familiar with paintball? <laughs> the people who don't know are just like freaking out right now. We, we never knew that paintball had risen up around us in that way. It's. Uh, it's a game you play with, you know, you play with guns, you put on the fatigues, and you shoot balls of paint at each other. It, it, it's played in outdoor places, it's considered a sport, it's, it goes on in 25 countries. And uh, anyways, I took a little field trip, a little teeny field trip, and I would like to show it to you now on your monitor.